this is another very simple one, except that we now have, we're not proving the triangles congruent, we're proving parts of them congruent. Now that doesn't mean you can't, you must still prove the triangles congruent. So if you can prove these two triangles congruent, then because D, G, and F, G are part of the two triangles, then by C, P, C, T, C, you could prove this part, but you still need three arrows leading to these two triangles in order to solve it. So go ahead and rewrite your givens, put what you need to prove down here, and maybe just above it, list the two triangles that need to be congruent in order for this to be true. So go ahead and give that a shot. So here's my solution. So here's my two givens. So looking at it, we have GE bisecting angle DEF. So GE is bisecting angle DEF, which means that this is going to be the same as that. So let me mark that up real quick. So this angle is the same as that angle. We already have these two angles the same. So angle, angle, common side, angle, angle, side will prove the triangles congruent. Once the triangles are congruent, then this is going to be congruent because they're parts of the congruent triangles. So now let's finish this off. So basically we have GE bisects DEF. So this angle is DEG congruent to FEG. So because it bisects them, the two angles are congruent. This is our common side. And so now we have angle, angle, side. Now the, it's really important that we name this correctly. So if I say the angle, triangle DEG, I'm going from this angle to the other angle and then back along the common side. So to make sure I name it correctly, this is the corresponding angle here, F. I have to go this way, FE to this angle, and then back to the common side. So it's going to be triangle FEG. So let me go ahead and put that in there. So this is going to be triangle FEG. The reason is angle, angle, side. So I need three arrows leading to here. So here they come. Here's one. That's angle. Here's the second angle, and here's my side. And then, because the triangles are congruent, all the corresponding parts are congruent, and therefore we have this is true by CPCTC. So again, excuse my writing here. Okay. So hopefully this has gotten you on the right track to solving these types of proofs.